plenty of Egyptian interest here, Johnny, and uh, definitely some quality matches to look forward to. Yeah, definitely. I, I, I suppose uh, that you know the, the headline matches are the top two because of that head-to-head, uh, -head, you know, with between Gillis and uh, and Al Hamami's uh, three-one for Al Hamami. But like you said, some absolute. Uh, uh, gut-busting matches and uh, one hopes that we're going to see something uh, along those lines once again. Two terrific athletes on the court. It's lovely play. Cross court. Had a little hold on it just to Six, get Gillis further out of position and then finishing nicely. Lovely shot. Very good pressure here. Oh my goodness me, that's a rally. Oh. <laughs> that's a rally and a half. You could hear what it meant to Hello. Lady Gillis. 12 11. Game ball. Brilliant stuff. I love the way she mixed the paces up. She used the height and then... Some heavy work being put in here by both players. <laughs> heavy. Absolutely superb. Oh, she's made the error. She went for the short ball off the tight ball. And Naila Gillis takes an epic first game. You've got to take your hat off to her, Johnny Boy. Good hold on the boast and uh, predatory instincts of the leopard. Five two. I can hear a massive cry there, but she's aware now that she's. And it's well played. She's starting to tidy things up around the front. Anything that's being just lifted up and left open has been put away and She's, just uh, being completely 100% uh, here Johnny at all 11 to game to one game all the difficulties out there are a lot better than what El Amami is so far tonight yeah and that, that that's interesting for me because she's certainly not had as much experience in the glass court I would say what a shot there that defensive drop this Unbelievable. This is really, really gutsy from Gillis. She's done superbly well. As I said before, she's controlled the pace. She's not let El Hamami start to. Well, starting to make some headway in this third game, El Hamami. Hang on, a lot of people can learn from it. I'm sure you. When you think of the quality of the competition and the way they are, and it's nip and tuck between the two, and then no. calling their balls straight away. The referee doesn't have to do anything. Hello. No, it's uh, the honour code. We've talked about that over and over. And uh, Alamami just sort of worked her way into this position, really, at game ball. It's certainly not as clean and precise as she was in game two, but doing enough. Now, and that's 11 7 error. game to Alamami. Oh, you can see the way Alamami she's walking. She's got a on a hit there. She's in. I think that boast, which obviously in this situation against Gillis, who's, who's suffering, we can see that it'll work. But that's the problem that she has when she plays the top of yeah. two girls. You can't boast the ball up like that and leave it open for, right. especially for the Shabini hold that's drop right. or the Goha kills. Five. So six match balls for a place in the quarterfinals and a rest day. And there we have it. So a bit of relief, I would say, for Hanyu Al-Hamami.
11-13, heads over double there. 11-7, Very noble performance by Nayli Gillis. Not a whinge at all, just trying to get on with it. She's in a tangle, you can see that. So the first match, the four matches this evening. Anya El Hamami, the number six seed, holds a seeding. Taking out Nayli Gillis from Belgium, three games to one. Anya El Hamami, congratulations, you made it to the quarterfinals. You came a bit short on the first set before coming back stronger and coming out victorious from this match. How do you feel about it now? Uh, yeah, as you said, the first game was very crucial. Uh, both of us, we, it took us some time to adapt to the conditions of the court. Um, I think uh, it's really different playing uh, in an outdoor uh, court. So both of us felt that, that the court is a bit tricky. So um, yeah, I think the first game, uh, uh, it took a little bit of time until I got into the game. And, uh, and yeah, I think uh, the, last, uh, the last three games, I managed to, uh, to find my length and find my, uh, my corners, yeah. They're being provided and go through and play it. Down. It's another error, so it's all been nine three. Just a bit too easy, really, for Goha. Three. Space there being provided and go through and play it. Down. It's another error, so it's all been nine three. Just a bit too easy, really, for Goha. Seven game balls for a quick fire first. Oh. Savage stuff. 7-3, game to Gohar, Gohar leads one game to Love. So Narong Gohar continues that quite ruthless form that we've seen in these last few events particularly. Big injury that she had sustained for quite a while and now that with that added sort of fitness you can see on the stretch she's just a bit more stable and the movement is more pliable and Yeah. The, her opponent is cannot stop hitting Eight, a 10, though. One. Not up, thank you. Hand out. Two, nine. Say gymnastic is an understatement. It was her preferred sport when she was a youngster. Down. Too good. 11 2. Game the, to go hard. Go hard lead. Put the nail on the head, Johnny. She's just, there's no real game plan, unfortunately. She's quite deep in the back of the court. Um, well, Johnny, I mean, we've barely been able to say anything. And if you lost for words, is just unbelievable. Being from. Uh, Tasmania originally. <laughs> Tell you what, I was. We weren't bored in Tasmania. Well, not, we just got to get back on track here a little bit, Joey, because the, the steam, the runaway train I is going so fast down there. the tracks. We will. Be proud of that. I'm from Dude. Melbourne, mate. That she wants one. to let her younger Egyptian players know for the next time what kind of a hammering this was tonight. And, uh, Sending out a message. Yeah. Filthy about and that one. To seven. Ten about four, something else. Match, ball. match balls here for Goha are plenty. Six. I'm a mess. Down. And out. Good touch Five, from Abbas, but really needs to go away and work on getting some power line hitting going against these top players if he wants to progress. Cannot expect to just pepper winners from the back of the court. Top. Let's go hard, wraps it up five, nicely. Match to go hard, three games to love. Hugely Eleven impressive three, there from Narong Gohar and Johnny. Five. I completely concur with your point. It's 22 minutes, what a ruthless demolition. Hugely hungry, hugely sharp. And a real danger for this title, the number two seed. Three love, and I mean. Sure. Um, I was saying it was a pretty quick and easy win for you. You seemed very focused all the way from the beginning. The next match is going to be against Hanya Al Hamami, also from Egypt. What do you think about that? I mean, uh, it's never an easy match. I mean, uh, the women's game is like, I think that's the highest level it has ever reached. And uh, 
uh, matches are really hard from the very first round. So I just had to, like, even if the score uh, wasn't really tight, but it was hard on there to, to be able to close it out in, uh, in three. Um, so yeah, um, uh, next match uh, against Hania, we played uh, a lot uh, for the last couple of months and uh, the last encounter was at the Bridge Open. It was a really enjoyable match actually and uh, yeah, I'm just looking forward to this one.